and we're back with another episode of the Stanley Parable. Last time we uh, kind of went to our apartment and did some weird stuff, but next we're back and we're going to see what happens Even now, this time. Stanley's office was a distant memory. There has to what be did a way. It look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. Hmm. Can I go through here? No. Here? No. Okay, I guess let's just go through here. Nope. Hmm. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his Alright, let's see what's in here. Huh, I don't know what to do. There's the meeting room. Yet there was Tips for not getting fired. Tall less do unbelievably yeah. amazing work all the time. Every day with no expectation of promotion Stanley recognition. To go don't get fired. Office, okay, so. An there. Last time we had to a staircase, Stanley walked we upstairs went, to his We pressed the wrong office. button. We didn't follow the exact story. I kind of am curious to see what this story is going to be. So. What actually happens with the intended the original ending? Office, so we're Stanley gonna um, once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. We're gonna Shocked, try that and see what happens. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single That's minute right. to just let the narrator talk. That's right. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. This is weird. Some funky music. It's actually some really Feeling funky music. And rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Yeah, we're gonna go in here. Gonna go down. We're not gonna give him time to talk because why would I do that? That's that seems silly. Seems daft. But, yeah, I, I'm, I'm curious to see what the ending is when you follow the narrator entirely. Um, because I, I don't know As what it is. Into the building, and I want to know. Felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest. As though he felt more free to think for himself. To question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? When for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Alright. So we're gonna go down here. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read mine. Okay, we're gonna have to go that facility. way at some point. So we're gonna come down here and press this button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Ah, uh, do I have to listen to this whole thing this again? Place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible for you guys. I don't want y'all. I don't want to have to go through it any more than I have to already, actually. But now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. All right, come on. Each bore the number come of on, an path. employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of come so on, path. many I wanna, individuals. I want to move on. Images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where We're, freedom. Yeah, and there's no, nothing. there's no freedom. Right, this mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley oh, been true. under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That yeah. his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. All right, so he refused go up. to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's it control? It is. Okay. Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? But it's true. Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes. But here Ooh. was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled. A lot of emotions. cool buttons in there. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. Huh. All of it. All right, we're gonna go inside the facility power. We're gonna and as the press cold reality the off of button like we're supposed to. to sink in. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exist. All right, so last time we hit on was blew it up, so this time we're going to hit off. Life. So what happens?
What's happening? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. <gasps> he had won. Freedom? He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door wow. slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go. Ooh, to that does sound nice. How to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Wow. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Yeah. Stanley stepped through the open door. It's not open yet. Near here. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. That's cool. It's actually a pretty good ending, actually. So what's happening now? Am I going back to the office? Alright, well, we'll come back to this. We will um, do another ending next time, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please let me know. But I'll see y'all next time. Bye.